Hey everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Brandcoin Mining here. We Today we're in our crypto mining garage here, and it's a little bit messy. We're going to be cleaning that up later, but today we have a very special surprise. We're going to be doing an unboxing and a full review of a brand new Antminer S19 Pro. So if you enjoy this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help us out. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into that intro. Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing an in-depth review of the Antminer S19 Pro straight from Bitmain and this is the 110 terahash model and we're going to be doing taking a look at the power consumption, the profitability, the heat and noise, we're going to be taking a look at where you can buy one of these miners if you're interested. So uh, now let's go jump right into that unboxing. So we are back and we've got our trusty pocket knife and we're gonna be doing the official unboxing right now. So we're gonna open this guy up here. Okay. And we gotta open the sides as well here. Perfect. And we're gonna open up this side as well. Here we go. All right, and now we should be able to open up this box here. Perfect, nice packaging. And we've got our instruction manual, which we don't need here. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna be taking the styrofoam out. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this thing here. S19 Pro, what a massive machine. Now we're gonna need both hands to pick this guy up and take it out of the box. So we'll be back in a moment here. So now we've lifted the Antminer S19 Pro out of the box. And the last step is to get rid of the um, anti-static uh, protective packaging. Now we've gotten this guy out of its protective packaging and we could behold the sight of the gorgeous, gorgeous machine here. And wow, is this thing big. It really sort of extends uh, a little bit further off of the control board area here and is just one of the biggest miners and heaviest around. So we just did a big reorganization here and cleaned up quite a bit. And uh, I got this uh, Antminer S19 Pro programmed. So we got the pool and wallet address going in there. And now let's power it on and uh, see it work. So I've got my uh, ethernet plugged in here from my uh, little hub we got. And then we have two power cables which are plugged into our PDU over there. So we'll just plug in uh, number one here. And we'll plug in number two. And when I plug in the second one, the unit should power on. So there we go. Now it looks like it is going to start up and it's going to get pretty loud once this thing starts up. But uh, that's what I've, I've noticed. Definitely putting out a lot of noise. These uh, Ant Miner S19s. And it's quite the show. So uh, get ready. There we go. So this would not be great to have at home because it is so loud. It sounds like an alarm is almost going off. It will quiet down once it does start mining because uh, it is quite cool in here. These fans will only run like this if um, 
it's really, really hot. But during the startup process, which is doing right now, uh, the fans run at 100%. So yeah, uh, my family would not like if I had this running 24-7 at home at this volume. Now it seems to be quieting down, and there we go. The normal light is flashing, and that means we are mining right now. So uh, now this is sort of the volume you'd get uh, if you were if you were at. Let's see the temperature right now in this room. Uh, only it's only about 20 degrees Celsius, or about looks like about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is rather cool in my garage right here right now. Uh, so this is actually really quiet. And uh, at this uh, volume, wouldn't bother anyone in my house at all. Okay, everyone, now we are back a few hours later after this thing has been running and it has gotten really loud again. Uh, the Brandcoin family is not happy. They say it's too loud because you could basically hear it everywhere in my house and just this minor alone running and we are back we're at about a hundred and ten degrees Fahrenheit or nearly 45 degrees Celsius so yeah this one minor that's all I have running in here because of the uh, what happened with the merge so uh, this one minor can heat the whole garage up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit that's pretty hot and very very loud again so now we're taking a look at my computer at the profitability of one of these bitmain s19 pros that are 110 terahash model and they consume about 3250 watts of electricity and this is all in us dollars right now you can see you'd have an income of nine dollars and 22 cents a day and your electricity, if it were at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, would be $7.80 a day. So you'd only be profiting about $1.42 a day. And that is because we're in such a bad bear market right now. And you could see, uh, if we look at like, um, it says September 30th, which is uh, yesterday, uh, profit was $1.21. But if we went back a little bit in time here, the profit was quite a bit higher. And that could also be though that they have been releasing more and more of these miners and they even have a, a more powerful model now called the uh, Antminer S19 XP instead of the Pro. So I mean, this, this could be two different factors. This could be the price coming down of Bitcoin, which is always very low, even in August was very, very low, uh, and could be the release of new miners coming out as well. So, um, but I believe when the price of Bitcoin comes back up, which it will, it's going to be four or five times the amount it is now, maybe even more than that. You could just keep your Bitcoin that you are making right now and sell it later when the price goes back up. And it will be like you made that money all along during this whole time. And that is if you could afford to pay, it says over here, $234 a month in electricity. So, I mean, the projections aren't really good right now, but this is the best time to be buying mining equipment. And now we can go um, here and we'll change it over to Canadian dollars because actually I live in Canada and I pay a 10 cent electric rate. So right now for me, I'd be making about $12 Canadian and 62 cents a day. And I'm still paying um, about $7.80, but in Canadian dollars for my electric. Therefore, I'd be making about $4.82 a day or $144.59 a month. And again, I could believe I could be making at least $600 a month with these and maybe more when the price comes back up, uh, if not much, much more, $1,000 a month or who knows what it could really be. So uh, now we'll, we'll browse over to the Bitmain website and this is where you can buy one of these yourself. And the S19 Pro 100 terahash model, which I do not have, I have the more expensive model. They were selling for only $1,900, they're all sold out. And then they have a 95 watt model, which is 95 terahash model, sorry, that is much less powerful on my machine, selling for about $3,230 US. 
And those are the machines you have for sale right now. If another place you can get these is you scroll down here, we were back to asicminervalue.com and you can go down in the used and new uh, market. So these are selling for about $4,500 Canadian to about close to $5,500 Canadian. But another thing that is not included when you go uh, shop with these guys is often the duties and taxes when you receive the miner is not gonna be included uh, and the shipping. So always calculate that you're gonna be paying quite a bit more than $5,000 or $5,500. You could easily end up paying uh, around $7,000 for one of these machines, if not a little bit more even. Uh, so you always have to keep that in mind. Uh, don't um, overextend yourself. Even though these are very, very good prices for these machines, these machines were going for over $10,000 not very long ago. Um, so anyway, just don't overextend yourselves and go slowly especially could it since it could be years from now that the prices do actually come back up another interesting uh, place where you can get, find these miners is ebay yes ebay but you really have to watch out for scams as i've been uh, people have tried to scam me many times at this point uh, i always get my money back but i have to start making claims and um waiting a certain number of days and following up with it and making complaints and uh, i mean it is quite a bit of work honestly but you do get some excellent you can get some really excellent prices on ebay but definitely definitely watch out for scams thanks everyone for joining me today at the brand coin youtube channel and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and we'll see you all soon in the next episode